Today, I'm about to try every single Control Freak product in Fortnite. We're trying these aim rings, we're trying the performance thumbsticks, we're trying these grips, we're trying it all, so don't forget to like and subscribe. First of all, we mainly know the brand Control Freak for their thumbsticks. They've got a ton of variants and some are better for specific games, but I think the ones that are made for Fortnite and the ones that are most popular within Fortnite are called the Galaxies. I'm pretty sure they come in a few different colors. I think Flea even got his own variant of them but the ones that I have look like this I got my pair like two years ago and I've been playing with them ever since and I know you're not really supposed to use one on the left stick but I didn't know that when I initially put them on so I've just gotten used to it and I just play with a left one and a right one now left one is obviously the shorter one and the right one is the taller so the whole point of control freaks is to add an extension to your stick to make your aim more precise if you think about it with just this little aim analog stick you can move it and it might seem precise, but as soon as you put one of these things on, especially the taller ones, you can make such little movements with the taller sticks. And with smaller movements like that, you're able to be more precise with your aim. I definitely think my aim with these things is pretty solid. I've definitely gotten used to them and now it just feels weird if I'm not playing with control freaks on, but I can't really make a comparison and show how much they actually help me because like I said, I'm already really used to them. So me going back and playing without them and then playing with them, making comparison just wouldn't be a fair comparison. But yeah, the Control Freak thumbsticks, especially the Galaxy ones are definitely worth it. The next product we're looking at is also something I've been using for about a year now and it's this grip covering my entire controller. This one that I use is called the PS4 Extra Thin. So they actually have a few different thicknesses that you can choose from. I obviously play with paddles, so I needed something where my paddles could still push in, so I couldn't get anything too thick, so I went the extra thin, the thinnest one that they sold. But unfortunately, this grip was still too thick, so I actually had to cut it. Cutting this thing was actually so annoying, as you can see. Uh, it wasn't a very clean cut, but it definitely did the job and now I can click my paddles just fine So when playing on the standard ps4 controller the texture of this just makes my hands sweat a ton Like it never actually affected my performance But it was just really annoying and, and honestly it was pretty gross like my hands would always be sweaty while I played So not only does this thing give me extra grip and make the controller feel really nice in my hands But it makes it so my hands don't sweat at all when I play so for me this grip Thing is absolutely great I love it when I go back and hold a standard ps4 controller with this weird texture it just it makes this controller literally feel naked like this grip has become my new normal just like these sticks have become my new normal I absolutely hate playing without this grip now for another grip product but it's not a full controller grip like this control freak sells these things called grip strips and basically it's a package with a ton of different shapes and sizes in different cuts of grip just like this. It's the same grip, it's just cut in different ways. So all the strips are different sizes and different shapes like I just said. So they're meant to be used on different things. There's a few shapes that are meant for your keyboard like to put on top of your keycap. There's a couple strips that are meant to be on the left and right click of your mouse. There's some cut to fit your controller triggers and there's a bunch of other ones. Right now, I just have the trigger grips along with two of the like thicker, bigger strips on this controller that I don't really use that much. I don't really have a problem with like my fingers slipping off the triggers at all, but I will say having it on the triggers does feel pretty nice. It is definitely really grippy and it kind of just gives it a different texture that feels kind of cool. And then the same thing, I put these on the sides because that's mainly where my hands would sweat. So keeping these on the sides allows my hands to rest and it feels pretty nice. I definitely wouldn't say it's as nice as the full grip. I would way rather prefer the full controller grip, but it is still a lot better than just holding the standard PS4 controller with no grip. I still have a ton of these on my sheet. As you can see, I've only used two of the trigger ones and two of these bigger, thicker ones. So I think these and these are actually meant for your mouse button. The only reason that I haven't put them on yet is because I don't only use my mouse and keyboard for gaming. I do all my schoolwork on this PC. I write my papers on this PC. And I don't want the grips to mess up my typing. But if I just use my mouse and keyboard for gaming, I would definitely not hesitate to put these on. 
And then that still leaves you with a ton of other grip strips for whatever you feel like putting them on. You can really do whatever with them. And they're actually the same exact price as the full controller grip. So if you want more use for your money, then you can get this. You can use them for your mouse. You can use it for your controller, your triggers, your keys on your keyboard, and you'll still have some left over. So maybe for you, the strips are a better deal than the full controller grip. However, I really like the full controller grip. So I wouldn't say that's the case for me. I'd way rather have this. And the last product we're looking at are the precision rings. So I got these things a while back and I didn't really like them initially. However, in the package that you get, they send you four of them. They send you two of the like medium thickness and two of like the harder ones. I actually think since I've gotten these, they added another one. I think it's a green one and it's actually softer than the black and the purple. So I don't have that one to test, but they send you two of each. So I assumed you were supposed to put them on both analog sticks. I was informed in the comments that that was not the case. You're only supposed to use it on your right. And I found the black one to be way too hard. So I did just use the purple one for the testing. Basically what it seems like it is, is just kind of a cushion for your analog stick. So it's my understanding that just like this control freak thumbstick, how it makes your aim more precise, this little ring here being a cushion basically does the same thing. It adds like a little bit of resistance on your push. So your stick doesn't move as freely. So it's way easier to make really slight adjustments. But for me, even just using the softest one on my right analog stick, it just doesn't really work well for me in Fortnite. To me, the precision rings just seem like a physical tool to lower your sensitivity. But the thing is, you can literally just go in game and lower your sensitivity. <laughs> Plus, even with the softest one that I have, this purple one, I still feel like it slows down my stick way too much. In Fortnite, it's fun and it's actually pretty useful if you're able to build and edit really quickly. And when you have something like this that slows down your stick so much, you can't really achieve that. But obviously it does allow you to make way more precise movements. So for aim, it definitely does help. So maybe it'd be really good in a game like Call of Duty or Warzone where all you're doing is aiming. But in a game like Fortnite, where you need to move around fast, you need to be able to look up, down, side to side, turn around, do a triple edit. You need to be able to move your stick around very fast. It honestly just doesn't seem like the best accessory to have on your controller. Maybe some of you have it and you disagree. That's just my thoughts. If I wanted to slow down my sensitivity, I would just do it in game. So the precision rings didn't really do it for me. I don't really like using them. Like I said, maybe in a Call of Duty or Warzone, they'd be better, but I'm not really feeling them for Fortnite. So the only other products that Control Freak has are like LED lights and core as far as accessories go, I went through everything that they have. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did or you found this video helpful at all, then make sure to drop a like on it as well as subscribe for more content like this. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you tune in to a future video.